Okay, Salim, we know that Decibel has the Panther somewhere in that tower. Trying to go through the palace itself would be impossible. Luckily, this carpet shop is going to save us the trouble. Ah, yes, honest Hassan's carpets. He owns many, many shops, but he is not so honest. Trust me, in fact, we used to run a flying carpet scam where he would pretend to be... Kind of pressed for time here. Fine, please continue. So, according to my diagrams, the shop is connected to the tower. There's a vent system on the side of the building. All you have to do is crawl through the vents, and it will lead you straight into the shop. From there, you can make your way through the shop's interior to the tower. Hm. You make it sound so easy. I would like to see you crawl through vents when you are my age. Talk to you inside the shop. Good luck! I wonder if this Bentley will have me jumping through hoops next. First, I grab the rope. Then I press the R2 button to climb up or down like lightning. Wait, this room doesn't match my blueprints? It must have been renovated recently. Give me a minute to figure this out. Oh, by Aladdin's beard. Do you not know that rule number 37 in the Thieves' Handbook is expect the unexpected, foresee the unforeseen, predict the unpredictable? Keep your turban on. My sonar readings show an old passageway through a cave system beneath the floor. Let's see. Massive payload, angle of incidence, relative humidity divided by two, Got it. Salim, if we could drop that pallet of carpets in the corner, it should smash a hole in the floor straight through to the caverns below. We? It seems that I will be doing all the work. How about we just talk when you reach the passageway? Why did it have to be snakes? I had a magic lamp. I would wish for this job to be over. Wow, those are some giant Diablo scorpions. Nasty. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, no! I just stuck my hand in... Shall I bring you back some scorpions, Benji? Don't taste just like chicken. No thanks. I'm trying to cut back. Climbing, my favorite. I don't see an access point, but that lever looks worth investigating. And be careful not to stir up the scorpion nests in here. Much rather be riding a camel with three humps. <laughs> a thousand thank yous once again for this most excellent idea. Oh, cobras in baskets! The perfect gift! and traps just what the little wants to see. <sighs> At least this lucky fellow is getting some rest.
in a kind of hypnotic trance. The strange sonic frequency modulations emitted by that device are causing it. I've seen this type of thing once before on a mission in Prague. But this is on a whole new level. Mind controlled by music. It's genius. Uh, well, evil genius. Then all hope is lost. No, we just need to disable the device before freeing him. But we have to proceed carefully, or we risk turning his brain into jelly. What is this jelly? Oh, uh, mm. sort of like mm. Baba Ganoush or hummus, mm. but fruity. Ooh. Exactly. Just give me a closer look at that thing so I can turn <gasps> it off. My brother, are you all right? Oh, oh, my head. Where am I? You have been imprisoned, hypnotized, and compelled to create forgeries by that evil elephant. But I have freed you from her mesmerizing music with, you know, some assistance. That's nice. I'm hungry. Did you bring me anything to eat? Perhaps some nice roasted scorpion tails? Maybe some camel milk? Amazing! I climb halfway to the stars to rescue you, and you expect camel milk? Why do I bother? Thank <laughs> you. 